what I do. Uh, I'm not working at the moment. Um, I'm unemployed, which explains why I've got so much time to spend on social media. Hey guys, it's just me, Lance again. Hey guys, it's just me, Lance again. Hey guys, it's just me, Lance again. Is, it, is that a fan base? I've got like seven or eight thousand followers. Is that a fan base? I don't think I was ever really a bad person. I've always talked like this, I've always looked like this, you know. Uh, um, so I haven't changed that much, but I did, there has been some incidents of, of, uh, of, you know, really negative behavior and bad habits. You know, I've had a problem with addiction, caused me to be in a lot of, you know, uh, bad situations and poor decision making. And to be honest, I've got a really controversial past. I've done a lot of wrong things. I've been, um, you know, I've been to prison and I've committed crimes and stuff. I mean, I was charged and um, what do you call it? Went to court. I think it was uh, about a week or two I was in court and uh, jury said not guilty and then I went home. Um, and so, I don't know, I mean, what more can I say, do you know? Um, uh, well, I was at the, uh, what do you call it, the residence, you know, I mean, I was there, you know what I mean? It wasn't a mistaken identity, I was involved in an incident. But the police, they just are on the side of caution, caution. Um, they're not going to take my word for it. They leave that to the court to, to decide on a serious matter like that. So that's what they do. Um, they just charge the people and send it to court and let the court um, make a judgment, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what I found is, um, I found that it's not a good idea to be friends with anyone that's a criminal, you know. They may seem charming and whatnot, but it's just not worth the hassle, you know, and these people that literally preach loyalty, loyalty, loyalty all the time, turn out to be the most disloyal people on the planet. What do you call it? Like as soon as, as, soon as I've become on drugs, I was signing up for rehab straight away, trying to get off drugs. It was, it was hard for me, you know, because I'm a gym junkie and whatnot, you know what I mean? So there, was, there wasn't really, uh, and all my friends are all, clean skins, you know, so it was embarrassing, so I was pretty ashamed, so I was just, as soon as I was on drugs, I was thrown away into rehab, and then I'd get out and relapse, and I think I went to rehab as many times as I used, used drugs almost, you know, like I was in rehab constantly, just desperate to, not to be a drug addict. I had a slip up, you know, and then my friend Mano, he flew to Melbourne, picked me up, and what do you call it, flew me to Tonga, where he's from, and then flew me on a small plane to a remote island called Vavao. And he just left me there with his family. I'd never met him before, never been there before, third world country. And um, he just left me there for a year. Um, so I, I, I work for Guard Wilson Lawyers, and obviously Lance is collateral damage on that relationship. <laughs> Can I describe him? Um, Lance, believe it or not, is a do-gooder. And then I started a mosquito trap program, so they have Zika there. Everyone gets Zika, everyone's always sick. I was like, fucking hell, I got it. It fucking buckles you, you know, you're on the couch for a week. And uh, I was like, what the fuck can we do about this? Went on YouTube. Found that you can make a mosquito trap out of car ties, their favourite place to breed. So they lay their eggs in that water, and then I drain it out, strain it, so I can count the larvae, um, throw the larvae on the ground, and then they just die straight away so they don't become mosquitoes. But then the water, they leave a pheromone in the water, which attracts other mosquitoes to lay their eggs. So I pour that water back into the trap, and then just do the same process. And I had them at schools, I had them all over Tonga, 
fucking worked so well. It was just an idea of YouTube. I was like, is this gonna work? He does believe in fair, um, and he believes in a, an equal playing space for all people. So yeah, I would have stayed, I would still be there. Uh, but yeah, I had a motorbike accident and uh, got airlifted out of there. Went to, uh, was in hospital I think for over a year, I was in a coma. Got acquired brain injury. Uh, got, um, what else? Got steel hip now, steel leg. Pretty good scar. Good scar in it. Pretty happy with that. Look at him. The best dog ever. I love this dog. Oh, girl. Girl, yeah, yeah, it's a girl. They're both girls. <laughs> I've named all my dogs in my whole life Butch. Really? When I was a kid I had a like a German Shepherd named Butch. And then since then I've just always named every dog Butch. Why's that? I don't know. <laughs> just we got a dog, it's named Butch. Trying to always find something that I love to do. Trying to always. My wife told me, if you love what you do, it's not work. Lance, what are you doing? Hang on, I've got to work out these sums. What sums? I'm just working out how many, um, how many fans I got? Just working out you just keeping the record. What you want? I mean, you want us? You want a figure? You got a figure? What? It's one. It's four. Yeah, I got four. So. Uh, so the whole time I fumbled my way through it, and I don't really know what I'm doing. And um, people suggest to me, you know, friends, family, friends, or people online. They're like, no, you need to start a page. I'm like, what the hell's a page? I'm like, what do you mean, what's a page? So. I got my neighbour, a uni student, I got him to start the Lucky Lands page. Then I'm constantly going to his house, getting him to start me on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. And so I get people to help me with it. I'm really computer illiterate, which is ironic. Hey guys, it's me Lance again. So I got the TikTok. I downloaded it. And what the fuck do I do now? What am I supposed to do? Let me know. See you guys. Yeah, I suppose it's comedy, yeah. It's comedy and try to sneak in a socially responsible message at the same time, hopefully. Hey Lance, have you joined a motorcycle gang? Well, I looked into joining, I found out they're all fucking weak cunts. I'm pretty happy with the success, I think. I tried to add up the views, it's, I think it's close to two million views all up in, in about six months or a year or so. So that's pretty cool. But then when you look at other people online, it's nothing, it's peanuts, so. Uh, I started with the Facebook and uh, making fun of the some of the inconsistencies with the coronavirus, you know, with the, with the media. In the Australian state of Victoria, COVID cases continue to rise, reaching its peak at 686 cases in a single day yesterday. The Victorian government has become under pressure from the public for its handling of the coronavirus, largely on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Fucking Australia, you know, dumbest nation in the world. Believe everything that's in the media. Fucking idiots, mate. Idiots, mate. It's a fucking virus. It's like the flu. You know what I mean? And it'll blow over like everything else, Ebola and all these other things. To my surprise, the hospital is a fucking ghost town. It's empty. Negative stats. You want to talk stats? You've been watching Channel 7 News, mate. Here's some, Here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> Stuff you won't see in the news. New cases of corona drop lower than they were two weeks ago. Don't hear much about that. And then I kept on that theme and then I seen Dan Andrews was telling a few fibs, so I'd you know, start making videos about it, making fun of them when they're caught out lying or exaggerating. As public opinion begins to turn against Victorian Premier Dan Andrews due to the ongoing hotel quarantine inquiry, conspiracy theories linking the Chinese Communist Party to the Premier have emerged online. Look at my new flag! What's that flag? That's a new country! Oz China! Uh, you know, he got busted with a whole heap of lies, so, I mean, even some of his supporters are turning on him. So we've got to worry about his mental health. I was having good fun. And then I noticed the activists, you know, so all the activists. With COVID-19 back under control following Dan Andrews' successful lockdown, activists across social media are staying strong in their unhappiness with his actions during the outbreak. Hey guys! It's just me, Lance, again. I wanted to do a quick video and send a message to all the people upset with me for calling out all the activists, all your heroes of the day, and then I 
You know, I do my homework, I find them to be a scammer. All the, all the different activists online, I was watching them. I'm like, fuck, now they're lying. You know what I mean? So, and they're talking about the mainstream media lying and you're fucking lying too. You know, I was like, Jesus. Uh, then it come to my attention that uh, you'll find almost all, if not all, of the current um, activists or, you know, or, or independent journalists, you will find a GoFundMe account for, I dare say, all of them. They've all got a fucking crowdfunding account somewhere. You'll find it eventually. You see, it's all for money. Uh, my exposure to them has mainly been via Lance, obviously um, investigating him and, and sort of his, his efforts to call them out. So, um, what have I seen? I've seen lots of people uh, trying to induce the public into making donations without any real legal basis on success of the, um, of the cause. Hey, lucky Lance. Oh, hey guys, it's just me Lance again. Calling out scammers, it takes it out of you. I've got to stay sharp, I've got to stay fit, I've got to be ready for them. Every two I take down, another five pop up. All right, see Friends you guys. Have told me, why am I bothering, you know? Anyone who's stupid enough to donate to these people, they deserve it. There's been comments that I've heard from friends. And I thought, okay, I see your point, but what, does that mean, so it's okay to rip off dumb people? Or, <laughs> you know, I'm not that smart myself. You know what I mean? So I don't like that idea. They call it uh, caveat emptor in law, which is buyer beware. So I feel like there's a, there's a big element of buyer beware in the people that are, that are giving money, but there's a lack of legislation um, and framework around all of this stuff, which is, which is what needs to happen. Activists on social media are underway in creating a series of class action lawsuits against the Victorian government for their use of coronavirus lockdown laws, raising tens of thousands of dollars in the process. Another online scam people crowdfunding for legal fees for class act, class actions. And they're not doing class oh. actions. Hey guys, it's just me Lance again. I'll tell you the secret, right? You just start a GoFundMe, you say it's for legal fees to fight the government, and then you just keep the money. Everyone's doing it. See you guys. This is occurring despite these lockdown laws falling under legal state of emergency law, and despite their apparent success, as Victoria enters its 50th day without a single case of COVID. Oh, hey guys, it's just me Lance again. She's doing a bit of light reading on Australian constitutional law and it turns out the state of emergency powers are quite lawful and Dan is actually doing a terrific job. And then often you'll see they'll say they haven't even yet spoke to a lawyer. So they've, they've started, a lot of them have started a GoFundMe account for legal fees before they've spoken to a lawyer. Had they spoke to a lawyer first, the lawyer would tell them, if it was an honest lawyer, would tell them you don't have any legal grounds to fight the government on any, any of this. They don't, none of them seem to accomplish anything apart from these mad air raiding rants that they hold on social platforms. It just seems to be a bunch of morons creating all this havoc and fuss over nothing. None of them seem to have changed anything. None of it's enacted law reform. None of it's gotten anyone out of prison or gotten anyone out of any penalties. And of course, quite a bit of a stir. And uh, they've, they've had a lot of these scammers, they work together and they have admin and stuff that they have they have crisis talks about what are we going to do about Lucky Lance. So they're all reporting my page, trying to shut me down because I'm, I'm uh, getting the message out that it's a, you know, it's a money-making scam. Hey guys, it's just me, Lance again. I don't care what anyone says. I'm living the dream, and I'll let you know. I'm going to dedicate 2021, the entire year, to exposing scammers. So stay tuned for that. See you guys. I had a lot of people angry at me and death threats and uh, people posting pictures of my children and threatening my children and all sorts of threats and hate. And I just laugh at it, you know, it doesn't really bother me. It's, you know, it's just, it's just Facebook, it's not the real world. He manages a lot of negative feedback from people who don't agree with his dispositions um, really, really well. Um, he's got a voice and he's using it now on his platforms and he does have a lot of fans and a big following now, so he's using that for good things. And it doesn't even register, you know, I just hit uh, the thumbs up and say, thanks for watching, like, I really don't, care whatsoever they're strangers to me. I know you guys are in damage control, you're having your crisis talks. What are we gonna do about Lucky Lance? Now I can see you're trying to hack my Facebook. I get all the notifications and texts and whatnot. Good luck with that. Even if you're successful, I'll just start another Facebook. I'm gonna keep calling you out. You know, I don't give a shit. As long as you keep scamming and crowdfunding for fake legal fees and whatnot, I'm gonna keep calling you out.
the crowdfunders and the scammers online that people have been donating to it for a, re for a regular basis for a long time and been conned and then they've watched my content and after a while you know they'd sort of real you know they'd realized and then so i've had so many people thank me thank you I've, you know i've woken up now He's got a voice and he's using it now on his platforms and he does have a lot of fans and a big following now so he's using that for good things. All oh, the positive comments, they've changed my life. Yeah, I can't believe how nice strangers can be and it outweighs the negative that I've received by a million to one. It's not a lot, it's not the masses, it's, you know, it's a few dozen or maybe a few hundred. I feel really good about it and so I'm pretty chuffed. I'm like, Wow, so you do good things and good things happen to you and people say fucking really nice things to you. You go out of their way. Uh, I was giving away um, merchandise, t-shirts and masks and all for free and free postage. It was killing me, um, the postage. So I did that for a while. I've had to stop. I couldn't afford to keep doing that. One person said he was suicidal and I, I made him laugh and got him out of that. I couldn't, I was, I was flabbergasted. I could not believe it. You know what I mean? I was like, shit, this is serious. I, I was just having fucking fun with my iPhone. So, uh, it, all this sort of started when I started going on Facebook. I suppose, uh, um, minor stuff looking for a bit of redemption, I don't know, it, you know, I sort of want to make up for it sort of thing, I don't know what the words are, but I figure, um, yeah, turn it around, you know what I mean, have a fresh start and, and, and make up, you know, make up for things I might have done wrong or did do wrong. So you lose a few years, um, you know, with addiction, you lose time, you know what I mean, so then in that time you're not accomplishing anything, so I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty behind the eight ball in terms of accomplishments with my life, you think, oh, okay, I better catch up and try to do some positive things with my life and try to find my place in the world and try to be positive and, yeah, so pay it forward, all that sort of thing. Yeah. I'm sure there is. That's for the viewers to judge. I'm sure there'll be heaps of comments. Uh, so I've got a lot of people don't approve of me or don't like me. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm pretty happy in life. I'm pretty lucky. Hence the name Lucky Lance. And um, actually Mitch, who you interviewed yesterday, he gave me the name Lucky Lance. Um, he, he, he gave that name for me because he's, he, he noticed that I was very lucky. So I've been very lucky in life. Very, very fortunate. No, we're gonna call you Lucky Lance, so I started, started calling myself Lucky Lance. And, and I'm just a guy with a shit, you, you're holding it, a shitty cracked iPhone. That's it. <laughs>